Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, it's January. The festivities are over and 2020 has begun. Hooray! Which just means another year in the garden. More opportunity to grow new varieties or to try something different to what you have in the past or perhaps just to have learned from what's happened in years gone by and put new practices in place for this year. So if you haven't already planted your bare root roses, you've got time, you've got up until February to do that. And of course, if you've cleaned out all your pots and everything, that's great, but if you didn't get time before Christmas, then you've still got time to do that now. I actually came to the allotment today and there were blackbirds all around the plot, digging for worms in amongst the mulch, which was really sweet. But they do obviously need supplementary food at this time of year too. So if you can hang some bird feeders out, that kind of thing, that would be great as well. You can prune your wisteria at this time of year as well. Uh, you can look online, the RHS has a really great uh, instructional advice of how you prune wisteria for different years. And you can generally have a good tidy up, so deadheading all of those winter pansies. Now is a great time to do that because you'll get a second flush of those gorgeous flowers come early spring. Don't forget they're edible as well, so you can also use the flowers or the petals in cooking. So you can make cookies or you can uh, cut up the petals and put them in salads for a little zing of colour as well over these colder months. So you can actually start forcing your rhubarb at this time of year as well. It basically means covering over a crown with a bucket. So you're taking away all of the light and it forces the crown to sprout. So you get those lovely, lovely rhubarb stems. Um, you can only do this really on one crown every three years. So make sure you alternate so it doesn't use up all of its energy. But it does mean if you do force rhubarb, you'll be able to eat a delicious rhubarb crumble before the other crowns are ready as well. Of course, if you've got any weeds, get on top of them now, don't forget that. And one thing also, if you've got all of your Christmas trees, if you're thinking, what am I going to do with my Christmas tree? Well, you can actually bring it down the plot, you could chop it up, you can use it as wildlife homes, you could be creative and make something from it, but actually it can be reused on the plot, so you don't have to chuck it away. For me here on my allotment, it's early January, but I am off to America for two months, almost two months. So my allotment is very much asleep right now. I'm just letting it be and I can't wait to get back at the end of February to see what spring signs there are because I'm sure there'll be plenty of bulbs up and about. Uh, so yeah, that's quite exciting. So that means next month my video won't be from my allotment but I will find something really interesting to send you in February from Charlotte in North Carolina. Happy New Year.